well. Uh, what I'm going to do today is fluff up my intro. <laughs> What I'm going to be doing today is a complete overhaul of my gravel bike because my sponsors Pedaled have invited me to the Italian Alps next week where we're going to be doing a video and a photo shoot but it's going to be taking place on an actual ride. So we're going to be riding from point to point, staying at refuges, just having an awesome time pretty much but I want to make sure that my gravel bike is in top condition for that. So what I'm going to be doing today is, um, it's not a complete rebuild, but I am going to be servicing the hub, putting on a new cassette, putting on a new chain, I'm going to have to grease the headset, I will put in new brake pads, I should probably service the pedals but I don't have the right tool, so I think that covers it. A couple of these things I've not actually done before, I've never serviced um, the hub of my wheel before but SRAM have sent me the hub servicing kit so with a bit of help from YouTube I should be able to do it so let's go okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is open a beer thank you Dave <laughs> and then start the front and go to the back that's a good idea okay it's just going to be a video of my bum not intentional I think well, I have to change the camera angle These are pretty gross. I don't know if I've ever actually done this to this bike before, so I'm going to clean these up, regrease them, put them back. It's so easy to do this. Literally, just take your stem off, take your fork out, and clean it all off. Fresh grease, you're good to go. Right, where's my grease? It's of utmost importance that you stay hydrated when you're doing any bike maintenance. I don't know why I'm wearing one of my absolute favourite jumpers of all time to do this. Can I just say, Dave is standing here watching me do all of this and it's like the most pressure ever. You guys watching me is fine. The fact Dave is standing there watching me, it feels like I'm having some sort of assessment. going to do is change my disc brake pads. These are SRAM organic brake pads. All you need is a teeny tiny Allen key. It's very very easy to do. So you want to have a look? I'm going to do it now. I'm going to put some freshies on and ah, throw these on the floor. <laughs> Pop this little thing on so that no one knows what it is. The thing. All done. Oh your brakes didn't work. No! Remember not to pull your brakes before you put the wheel back in because otherwise you pull your disc pads, disc brake pads closed and it's a bleeding nightmare and I know because I've done it. Right, now I'm going to do the same on the back and drink some more beer. <laughs> Dave! Right, next Dave is going to stand there really, really noisily eating crisps. No, what I'm going to do next is take the rear wheel off and I am going to remove the cassette, then I can service the hub, put on a new cassette and change the chain. <laughs> no, I'm crunching away. My hands are still so weak at the moment. I don't notice it until I do something like try and use an Allen key. on the white rug. <laughs> well, I say white. <laughs> it's really not a white rug, is it? I only bought this about six months ago. Look how disgusting it is now. I can't really see it. Oh, good. I was like, don't hand down. Oops. I will put this somewhere. It's flashing. Dirty. No. I mean, you don't want to like, you know, throw it with all those greasy tools on the floor down there. <laughs> the last thing you'd like to do, right? Right, you know, tool, cassette tool, muddy tyre, <laughs> don't <Donut. laughs> Next thing I'm going to do is service this hub and that might be a bit hard actually. I'm sure there's probably a correct tool to use for this that I don't have. You can use the cassette. 
Let me just give it a pop. Ta da! I'm just checking the state of these hub bearings. Sometimes, when you think that you need to. Can you hear that cat? She won't stop meowing. Stop! Be quiet! Sometimes, when you think you need to service the hub bearings, actually it's the driver. So, I'm just going to check whether I actually need to do this. Thank you. Yeah, that sounds like it's had it. Can I just point out, this is not a how-to. This is me servicing my bike. So if I'm doing this wrong, forgive me, don't copy me. So I'm gonna tap out the axle and the bearings. Oh, sugar, right on the rug again. Oh, there you go. She's out. I'm gonna give everything a clean, put all the new bits in. Thank you, Shram. We should be good to go. Can you see it's rusty in there? Right, so what I'm gonna do now is, what am I doing now? Um, I am gonna use this special bearing press that has been machined by a frame builder. Dave bought this. I'm gonna use this to, well, it's a bearing press. I'm gonna press the bearings in through like that. Make sure it's lined up. So that's in, I'm going to remove the tool and then put the bearing on the other side. I've got the XDR driver here, which is going on the drive side, funnily enough. Wait a minute, I'm going to put some grease in there actually. You want to grease this? I'm going to put some grease in. You have to make sure that you have the pulls in correctly. And then... Right, two more jobs to do, uh, actually three. This being the first. The second is putting my lovely, lovely new cassette on. Check this out. A beautiful piece of tech. It is my SRAM Eagle 10 to 50 cassette. So this just slots on, but I'm gonna put a bit of grease on first. onto the chain. I'm sure you're aware that the easiest way to install a new chain is by removing the old one, measuring it, and then installing a new one of the same length. So I am gonna pop apart the quick link using these, or you can use a chain breaker, obviously. Why am I saying this? I never said this is an instructional video. <laughs> Why have I suddenly gone into, this is how you do it? All that remains is to install the chain using the quick link, and I'm done! The rear wheel is back in. I don't have to re-index the gears because they are awesome SRAM Axis electronic gears. Um, so yeah, I'm done. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you're into bike tech and mechanics and stuff, I definitely encourage you to have a go at doing things yourself because it's really good fun. You can check out loads of tutorials and stuff on YouTube. That's kind of how I learned most of the stuff that I've done. And also just by trial and error. I mean, be careful what you're testing things out on though. Because I remember the first time I tried to true a wheel, I completely and utterly pringled it to the extent that I had to throw it in the bin. I mean, it was a really cheap wheel that I originally got out of a bin in the first place. But anyway, yeah, just be careful, but don't be afraid to try. Um, so that's it from me for this week. I'm really looking forward to riding this in the Alps next week. Hope you're doing well. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Tell your friends about my channel and give me a sub. See you later. Bye.